Ken Stabler played college football in Tuscaloosa. A magnificent manager was Tony La Russa. In 1978, Tony earned a law degree from Florida State. In 1979, La Russa didn't hit from the batter's box. He became the manager of the Chicago White Sox. In 1983, Chicago's Dave Duncan implemented an awesome approach. In his first of 29 consecutive years, he was Tony's pitching coach. Due to their 99 wins, the White Sox won the AL West, so they were held in revere. Tony was named the AL Manager of the Year. In 1986, for the Oakland Athletics, La Russa put his managerial skills on display. In his first of 26 straight seasons, he worked with first base coach Dave McKay. Thank you very much. Due to their 104 wins, La Russa's athletics were great when they won their first of three consecutive AL pennants in 1988. Tony was sincere. He was named the AL Manager of the Year. Revered and then sincere. On 7-11-89 at, at Anaheim Stadium, Tony concentrated every frame when he led his AL team to their first of three straight wins in the All-Star Game. In 1989, due to their 99 victories, La Russa's athletics were very deep. On 10-28-89 at San Francisco's Candlestick Park, they completed a World Series sweep. La Russa didn't boast for the Oakland Athletics his 798 career wins were the most. Tony didn't face the New York Knicks. He became the manager of the St. Louis Cardinals in 1996. In 2004, <laughs> as the NL champions, so, you know, in 2004, as the NL champions, St. Louis impressed. Tony's 105 wins was a career best. In 2006, due to their 83 victories, St. Louis hustled time and again. They won the NL Central Division while Tony wore number 10. On 10 27 06 at St. Louis's Bush Stadium, St. Louis was a joy. In game five, they clinched their 10th fall classic by defeating Detroit. The Russes Cardinals faced the Tigers' Curtis, and Curtis Granderson. As a manager, Tony won a World Series in both leagues like Sparky. Anderson. Anderson would previously enter as LaRusa's marvelous mentor. On 9-1807 at Bush Stadium, Tony's starting pitcher was Todd, not Evan. His Cardinals tied an MLB record because their number of pitchers reached 11. In 2011, due to their 90 wins, LaRusa's Cardinals worked very hard because they qualified for the playoffs as a wild card. On 10-5-11, in game four of the NLDS, St. Louis defeated Philadelphia, so it was fate. At Bush Stadium, Roe Oswald threw a pitch when a squirrel ran across the plate. On 10-27-11, a World Series contest between St. Louis and Texas was very nice because the Russo's Cardinals were down to their last strike twice. At Bush Stadium, St. Louis implemented their bag of tricks when they came back to win game six. On 10-28-11 at Bush Stadium, the Russo's Cardinals were in World Series heaven because they won game seven. For a good reason, his Cardinals set a record with 75 pitching changes in a postseason. After the 2011 World Series, Tony retired. His 2,728 career regular season 70 playoff wins were admired. When a game began, La Russa had faith. For, th four, for 430 to 432 times, his pitchers hit eighth. Tony lived a Cardinals dream. His 1,408 career victories set a record for their team. And awesome NBA players, LeBron James, La Russa managed 5,097 career games. Tony, Mag Tony managed many magnificent men, on 5-11-12 at Bush Stadium, the Cardinals retired his number 10. On 7-10-12, the AL was shut out, so the NL pitchers threw the baseball with accurate aim. At Kansas City's Kauffman Stadium, La Russa managed the NL in the All-Star game. A Super Bowl was won 
by Baltimore's Tony Saragusa. Three World Series were won by Tony La Russa. Appreciate it. No, it's good. I mean, it was witty, and you had all the facts right. No, seriously, that was very good.